Honestly, it's heartbreaking when it does that. It really is. I do apologize. So there were a little interruption transmission. It's happening most weeks now, and as I say, it's absolutely heartbreaking. There's not a thing I can do about it. The old page just freezes, and then we seem to lose every single one of you. Anyway, we're all back together, so we'll just let everybody come back. How fantastic this is. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Hey, says Ben Lucas. Hey to you, Ben. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo. You're all watching Scotty McClue. We're live for Remembrance Sunday. John Paul Preston, dinky-doo. Andrew Mackay, David Boys, Mike Peacock, Gary Lee, Gordon Ritchie, Catherine Scally. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Lynn Donnelly's watching. The wonderful Lynn Donnelly. Thank you very much, Lynn, for doing such a fantastic job. So there you are, here by Lynn Donnelly. Um, wonderful, excellent stuff. How's that for an advert? Very smart. Excellent. Now, there you are. Hi, Scotty. It's Lynn here. Dinky-doo, Lynn. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Ex-Royal Army Medical Corps, REMC, says Gordon Ritchie. Gordon, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, and we thank you for everything you've done, not just in your life, but with the REMC. How fantastic that is. You will have seen incredible things that some people just should never have to see, but there it is. You took it in your stride, and we give thanks to you and everyone like you and to all the doctors and the nurses in the REMC. Uh, the Master McClure always backs his Ben. Absolutely, Sid Devine's watching. Lee Peters watching, and Martin Owens is watching. McClure will not let you down, but it is heartbreaking. And, of course, it means the show's divided into two, which means that everybody has to decide to watch two videos rather than one as the week goes on. But do your bit for me, guys. Share and share and share and share and share, and we will get it sorted. So there we are. A little bit irritating. Now, that would probably not happen on a television station. So there we are, but we'll see. Uh, Gordon Ritchie, thank you. At your service, sir. And uh, says Andy Thompson, Gordon Elric, Neil O'Gormley, and Ian Swanson's back with us. James Allison has joined us. So more and more people are joining us. Excellent stuff. You're watching part two of Scotty McClue. And uh, it's the evening show now. We're just in time for a share, 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 share. Can everybody share this video right now with everybody on Facebook? Can you also right-click it, get the link, share it with groups that you're a member of? Very, very important. And get it out there, I say. This is just marvellous, says Julia Diamond. Dinky do, Julia. It's lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. For all of you who've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. We're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And um, I do apologize, we had a little technical problem there, but we're back. Hi, how are you tonight? Scotty says, Angela Goodlett. We're great, Angela. We're dinky do. That's what we say. Uh, John Paul Preston, Scotty, are you still doing Skype? calls i haven't loaded the skype tonight we did do skype calls and it was a great success but we had a wee schoolboy on who thought it was funny to swear i thought i'm not having that in my name so we lost all of the video for that show and we had to edit the audio and put it out in audio so until we get a delay on then i'm afraid i haven't gone back to the skype calls but as soon as i get back on a radio station or a television station we'll make sure that the calls are there and everybody can call in thanks for the mention scotty i'm watching from arendonk in belgium with barry simpson on the night shift uh doing a ndt on the beatrice project for scotland we thank you lee peter and dinky do to you Top man, Scotty, we need to talk, says Ian Swanson. We do, Ian. Absolutely. It would be lovely to have a chat. And please do give my regards to everybody on your fabulous station. It was very, very good of you to do the Scotty McClue interview. Very good of Shelley McRobbie. So please pass on my regards to Shelley. Uh, so there you are. Anne Davis um, is watching. And Andrew Kerr's watching. Dinky do, Andrew. Always lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Uh, hello, says Jim Clark. I say hello to you, Jim Clark. You fabulous man. Marvellous stuff. Right, folks. Um, I hope all is well with you tonight. There we are. Can you see me there? 
excellent stuff. I maybe just put that up. There we go. The cameraman. And uh, uh, Scotty, you need to uh, fix Paladin's shade behind you. His bonnet has wonkied off. Fixed it. Uh, I'll move out the road. There you go. That's all right, isn't it? He's looking fine. Paladin is looking absolutely fine. Dinky do. I say to you, thanks for the ad, Scott. Is it Andrew Kerr? Not at all. Uh, Gary Lee, your late night radio shows were hilarious. Bring them back. Yes, well, we're trying, Gary. We're in conversation during the week and in meetings with very, very senior people. So it's just a matter of time till we've uh, dotted the I's and crossed the T's. And you'll have Scotty McClue back with you big style, I say. Excellent. At your service. Uh, and David says, hi, Dinky Doo. And uh, yes, that's what we want to go back to that. But also get on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. So there you are. Uh, www.youtube.com uh, forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. All right. So the YouTube channel or just put Scotty McClue YouTube channel into your search engine, into your Google. Uh, good stuff, says Gary Lee. Excellent. And of course, we get a good bit of RG Bargy. That's what we want. The big time RG Bargy. If I think you're in the wrong, I will tell you. All right. That's what it's all about. So uh, you have to expect that. Also, see if you can get a hold of the interview with two grumpy critics, spelt T double O, quite rightly so. That is their brand. And there was an interview on Radio 6 International, one of the world's great broadcast stations from Glasgow. So uh, there you go. And uh, it goes out, of course, globally. And you should be able to pick up the interview on Scotty McClure's Facebook page. Also, there's several Facebook pages, guys. There's Dinky Doo. There's the world's top talk show with Scotty McClure. There's Scotty McClure's page. There's Scotty McClure's operative page that you're probably watching on right now so keep your eye out for that alfred james wright would you use the casting couch to get on tv scotty alfred james wright i have never used the casting couch in my life and uh, it's highly likely highly unlikely i should say that uh, that i would because um i think you're on there on your merits i have proved that i bring massive massive audiences and i think that the people that have been involved in casting couches they should fall or stand by their audiences. That's the way it used to be in the early days of commercial radio. Your programmer fell on his sword or stood to attention by his audiences or her audiences. And if you didn't get the figures, you were out the door. And that's absolutely fair. You're flying with the city of your pants. If you're a pilot and you crash a few planes, they have to sack you. All right. Scotty, I think you should have a talk show on TV like Kilroy had. That would be spectacular. Yes, it would. Although I say it myself, John Paul Preston, Scotty McClure, live on television just for you saying dinky do. It would be a spectacular program. And people would have to mind their P's and Q's. I mean, right now, the world is absolutely ripe for the Scotty McClure show. You couldn't have better conditions there's so much going on that needs disgust and i am looked upon as a safe pair of hands right so there you are uh scotty do you think mr reese mogg would be the last tory prime minister well two things ian walker uh, there's no suggestion that uh, he's going to be the prime minister and also i think it will go on i mean it's all very well knocking a party or knocking the Tories say in this instance but they are the party in power now admittedly Mrs May should not have gone to the country because that weakened her position she thought it would be I, I said at the time this was a back me or sack me thing and uh, she went to the country and that was a bit of a fail but having said that look at the Tory governments that this country has had in so I don't think there's any lack of appetite for conservatism. I really don't, if we're honest about it. 
Uh, I don't think there's a lack of appetite for uh, for for Labour either, except in Scotland. You know, they put themselves into the wilderness by not backing independence. Uh, it was a silly, silly thing to do. I just watched them absolutely um, keel over and die in front of our faces by an ex-Prime Minister making that speech just before the Indy ref. So that was not good news. Scotty, uh, if you go on the telly live, you'll get six months, says <laughs> Rab. <laughs> don't be silly, Rab. Scotty, why don't you go on Celebrity Big Brother then? Well, I was just saying, Peter, um, I did uh, audition down at the um, Emirates Stadium where Arsenal play in London for Big Brother, and I got right to the very last hurdle. And um, then they said, you've worked in television before. I said, yes, so what? That's uh, That will enhance my performance. And they said, um, yeah, but you'll know what we're up to. I said, um, I'm not going to say, am I? I'm not going to let on. They said, yeah, but we can't take the risk, I'm afraid. Oh, so Scotty McLuhan never got on Big Brother that time. There, I can imagine me in that Big Brother house. We'd sort them all out. Uh, so there you are. Derek McKay's watching. Thank you, Derek. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. And Shirley Cooper's watching. Robert J. Maguire Jr. is watching. You're all watching Scotty McClure. This is show number 56. There's the red, my red bobble on the top of my Glen Gary. Can you see it? And there is my puppy. Can you see it? Excellent. And there... Uh, see, we've got all that, so everything is here just for you. Scotty McClure saying dinky do and Remembrance Sunday 2017. I miss the Scott FM late night phone-ins with you, says Robert G. McGuire. I know that programme would still be going on after 23 years. Uh, I can just see it happening. Uh, Tam Ramage, dinky do. Scotty, you're too big and controversial now. You need a disguise and a new name. What about um, Sammy? Uh, and we'll use the catchphrase. Uh, <laughs> so, so there we are. That's why you should go on Celebrity Big Brother. It helps if you've been on TV, says Peter Martin. Yeah, but this was the company themselves uh, weren't really to take the risk on it. So there you go. And of course, it would have been absolutely phenomenal. Audiences, woo through the roof, absolutely. Jamie Michael Wells, hello. I also think... It'd be quite good to be interviewed on programmes like the Graham Norton Show and the Jonathan Ross Show. Scotty McClure should be on these programmes. Uh, we need to start it back up, says Robert G. McGuire Jr. Well, we're trying, Robert. We're talking to a lot of very, very senior people right now as we speak. Now, you can be honest here, folks. Would you rather have me in audio rather than look at my visog? all the time look at my 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 coupon take a swatch at my coupon look at my pus on your television screens on your facebook screens would you rather i was on radio in audio only i shan't be offended if you go why that'd be a, a lot better because a good friend of mine said if i didn't have to look at you i would thoroughly enjoy the show uh florence sinkler's watching dinky do florence don't worry about big brother scotty look what happened to george galloway Yes, I don't know that I would be putting on the old feline outfit, uh, to be honest with you. So there we are. Uh, as a TV license pair, I'll be emailing the BBC demanding a Scotty McClure show. I suggest all like-minded people do the same, says John Paul Preston. John Paul Preston, I thank you. That would be wonderful. And I've no doubt the BBC bosses would be delighted to be deluged with mail and email and all the rest of it saying we demand a scotty mcclue show we're paying our license fee um i think your coupon on tv is the way forward says alex <laughs> so would you like to put your telly on alex at say half 11 at night and up pops moi you know so there you are as is hello scotty audio would be better says so steph back there you are there steph being honest Right hand up to the big man, and Steph is saying, no, I'd prefer it in audio, Scotty, really, to be quite honest with you. I, you can take Bear Grylls through Puzzle on a Saturday night and see if you can survive the night there, says Ian Walker. The nearest I've come to uh, Bear Grylls is when I lost my mobile, and I thought, oh, here we are, I'm going to have to have to survive. Uh, let's get a petition up, says Dave Harley. Yes, bring Scotty McClure to the BBC. 
Uh, therefore, it would be a great show, honestly, says Alex Robinson. Jacqueline Quick is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Jacqueline. And um, so, so that's that. Uh, audio would be better. Uh, Anne Davis says L91. I don't know what. Oh, I think that's LOL, and it's just gone a bit wrong. LOL. <laughs> Sorry about that. L91. Uh, I loved your late night show on Scott FM. We'll get your late night show back somehow, says Stephen. Dinky do, Stephen. Fantastic. Peter Martin. You're through, sir. Yes, you're live. You're speaking to Scotty McClure. Good evening. What can I do for you? Excellent stuff. Ron Stewart. Uh, excellent to have you with us, Ron, and Dinky do. And uh, hello, Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo, says Ron. Yes, Dinky Doo. Thank you very much. Now, tonight's show's in two parts, so you have to spend the week looking at two parts. There's Ronnie McLean, Dinky Doo, Ronnie. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McLean Show. Show number 56. Now, how long do you want the uh, Facebook Live shows to go on? Because you could maybe watch some of the repeats. There's a there's an idea there. Edward Strang still, dinky do to you, wonderful fellow, great family, and uh, remember the Strang Steels, uh, yes, uh, down in Selkirk. Is that right? Is that right? Have I got it right? And um, the BBC, full of wrongins, says Joshua Hoover. So they are well. It's time we got a right one on. Excellent, Ian Swanston, get yourself on Radio Telstar, Scotty says Ian Swanston. How marvellous. So there you are. Thank you very much for that, Ian. If you could put in a word for me. Uh, keep them going, keep them going, says Peter Martin. Absolutely, yes. Keep them going, keep it fresh. Uh, oh, I see. Keep the uh, the live shows on a Sunday night going on Facebook Live. No problem at all. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClue on Remembrance Sunday, just for you, saying dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. If you've got a point to make about Remembrance, pop it down there on your Facebook, and uh, we will take a look at it. Also, if you're feeling uh, generous and you've got a spare couple of pounds, pop it into either uh, gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen McClue, or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Fran Gil is watching. Excellent. Simon Tate, one of the country's great broadcasters. Dinky do, Simon. Lovely to have you with us. Julia Diamond. Hi, Scotty. What's your grand old age? Says uh, Julia. Hey, I'm 82, Julia. 82. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Gerald Mackay Mackay is watching. And uh, he says hi. Excellent stuff. Keep the Facebook live going says Steve Burrows. There we are. No problem at all, Steve. That's what we'll do. Saturday night, take the floor with Scotty McClue. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Take the Floor with me, Scotty McClue. Tonight, our resident band are the Willie McQuackle Dancers. And... <laughs> right. Uh, yes, I'm in Selkirk, flying back to the States on Thursday, says Edward. Regards to your family from Scotty McClure, Edward. Dinky-doo. Yes, marvellous stuff. And uh, regards to Selkirk, the home of the Bannock. Excellent stuff. Um, hi, Scotty, says Gerald Mackay Mackay. I used to go to Selkirk a lot uh, on holiday because uh, my father's great friend was very well known. Uh, down there at Selkirk, and you would know him as well, um, Edward Strang Steel, no doubt about that. Uh, God save Bonnie Prince Charlie, says Martin Owens. Now, did I tell you, Martin, <coughs> pardon me, I think a sip of the old, um, the guava would be good. Mm. Oh, that's lush. Marvellous. Right, what I was going to say to you, um, I knew a gentleman in Edinburgh, who knew a gentleman who worked in um, Fort Augustus, and his grandfather, I think it was, remembered Bonnie Prince Charlie walking about Rome. He was a kind of poor old soul at the end. He was a wee bit shilpit. The Scots will know what I mean by that. He was a wee bit shilpit, and uh, I think he was taking a light refreshment. But uh, he died in 1786. So I knew a guy who knew a guy, who knew a guy, who knew Bonnie Prince Charlie personally. 
and he's uh, he's buried in the Vatican, uh, King Carlos, and uh, his grave is in the Vatican. So there you are. So there's a bit of information for you guys. Excellent stuff. Thank you, do. Lols is Ian Walker. Uh, keep your live shows going from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. on a Sunday, says Stephen Wright. Wish I was going to the States too, Edward, says Steph Mack. Scotty McClure, I think, would do very well in New York City. Uh, good evening, sir, says Daniel Watt. Good evening to you, Daniel Watt. Lovely to have you with us, sir. Um, very, very good chat this week, by the way, Daniel Watt. Very good stuff. Excellent. Uh, Dave Harley's there. And keep up the good work, says Catherine Scully. I thank you, Catherine. It is very much appreciated because from little acorns, great oaks grow, we say. I personally believe that a Scotty McClure live television show would do very, very well. And I know that they've tried. I once spoke to one of the controllers of a, a very, very pivotal broadcast organization. And he was very kind of, um, um, I, I, would, I would be very wary of tackling the, the late night talk show market. And I thought, do your job for goodness sake, man. Uh, Michael McGuigan, yes, dinky do to you. People nowadays, they're wanting the money and they're wanting the position, but they're not willing to actually take a calculated risk. And Scotty McClue is not a huge risk at all. So there you are. Uh, what is that? 36,000 hours of live broadcasting, millions in the audience, made millions of pounds for broadcast organisations. Didn't get much of it myself right enough, but that doesn't matter. So there we are. Uh, no doubt, my day will come. Uh, he wasn't as bonny just before he passed. He was a bit plump, if I can recall, says Julia Diamond. Did you know Bonnie Prince Charlie, Julia Diamond? Amazing. Fantastic stuff. Yes, he had the gout, Julia. Bless him. He'd, uh, he'd taken to the uh, the John Barleycorn, I think. Uh, how Scotty. Okay, my really old granny, brackets dead now, close brackets, told me when she was a wee lassie, she spoke to an old woman who was standing in the harbour wall when they brought Napoleon in. Wow, Fran Gilhuli. Now that would be, was this at St. Helena or was it at Elba? Because obviously they, uh, they took him to St. Helena and then did he not spend his last days on Elba? He was a Corsican, wasn't he? Corsican, they called him the wee Corsican corporal. Um, but taking, seeing Napoleon, so that would be about 1815. There was a guy that used to babysit me uh, when my mum was away out at meetings and things like that. And he was born in 196, but his father was born in 1846. Amazing. Now that's just 31 years after the Battle of Waterloo. So there you go. Uh, James Will Scotty. Yes, absolutely. I've worked with James, super guy. So, um, at 82, Scotty, I presume you did national service. What are your memories, and do you think we should bring it back in some shape or form for offenders in general, says Dave Harley. So there you are. I was actually teasing about 82. I may look 82, but I'm actually a teensy bit younger than that. Uh, I listen to the best of Scotty DVD on the phone in, says uh, I still listen to the best of Scotty DVD about the phone ends of Steve Burroughs. Do you know, that was another huge seller. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands. But try and catch the Scotty McClure interview with uh, Shelley McRobbie on Telstar International, uh, Radio Telstar International, and uh, also catch the one with the two grumpy critics from America. Last week, the three of us got together. It's doing the rounds. Robert Rogerson, Sonia Scott Mackay, how fabulous, one of our great theatrical agents and our great uh, broadcast agents and a wonderful model. So there you are, Sonia Scott Mackay, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Edward Cadden's watching, Spike Nethsmith is watching, dinky do, one of the grumpy critics, Helena Innes, how lovely to have you with us as well. Fantastic stuff. You're all watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Um, now, it's share time with the time just flies, guys. But tremendous stuff. Now, uh, we uh, word to the wise. You can catch up on LinkedIn. If you're a business person and you want to follow Scotty McClure on LinkedIn, if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, feel free to do so. 
follow me on Facebook Live because I've got so many people requesting uh, friendship on uh, on Facebook. Um, so follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. All one word, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. My great granda knew a drover who was punched by Rob Roy McGregor for cheating at cards, says Ian Walker. Well, Rob Roy McGregor was around in the 1600s, so there you go. And if you watch the film, there's a fiddle air on it that was actually written on a train, to my knowledge. Excellent. Uh, Ron Stewart's watching. Dinky do, Ron. Julia Davis is watching. Lovely to have you with us. Ted Moult has nothing on you, Scotty, says Martin Owens. Remember Ted? Ted was wonderful. He really was. Excellent. I love these broadcasters, the people on the pioneering days of television. And that's why I love to be at the pioneering side of social media when um, television, once we can get social media 100% reliable or 99.9% .9 reliable so we don't sort of lose signals or anything like that or lose broadcast. That hour went quick again, says Steve Burroughs. Yes, indeed. Shared, says Ron Stewart. Can everybody share? Share, 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 share. If you're of a mind to make a contribution, small money only, couple of pounds, five pounds, ten pounds, uh, you know, you decide, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. You'll be in the company of well over 10 million others. And you will see the two logos there for PayPal and GoFundMe. You choose, because people have their own preferences about their pennies. You decide which one you want to use. Pop something in, because all is good grist to the mill. Remember, Scotty McClue is live. He is free at the point of uh, acceptance. And um, so they are free at the point of distribution. And uh, he accepts applause or derision on his merits. I accept it on my merits. Uh, so there we go. Yes, the hour went just in a flash. We will have to dash. And for those of you who cannot stand it, I will sing for you. For those of you who love it, I will sing for you. Not a problem. Nearly lights out. It is in. Yes, nearly lights out. Remember, tonight's show is in two parts. Um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the commemoration of Remembrance. There's a video doing the rounds, and you'll see Scotty McClure on that last year. And we're talking about Remembrance. And um, I've also got uh, personal things that I found about Remembrance when I was younger and right today as well. Thank you, of course. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Now, uh, no, I know the song. I can't take it anymore. Yes, you can. Another great show, says Steve Burroughs. Post the discussion topic an hour before, says Jamie Hooper. Yes, and you can all get fired up and come on and get stuck into McClue. That's what you love doing, isn't it? But if you'd like a Scotty McClue television show, then do start lobbying for one. I think it's very important. And uh, if you cannot stand by coupon, we can do it in audio on the radio as well. And we need to take your calls. I think that's very important. Go on. Sing a song, says Kathy Skelly. Sing a song. Would you like the box? I think we've got the box here. Do you want to leave tune in the box? So there we are. What can I give you? Um, something for remembrance. Uh, I'll see if I can give you one. <laughs>
There we are. Just ad hoc stuff, guys. So uh, don't expect a virtuoso performance. Nor the box, says Ian Walker. Dinky Gnu, Scotty, says Wedge. To every single one of you, I have to dash. Thanks very much for watching tonight. Have a wonderful week. Take great care of yourselves. And we shall do it all again next week, God willing, weather permitting. GWWP. This is Scotty McClure saying Dinky Do to every single one of you. Are you ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat or zane, au revoir and a cheery o. Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to all of you. Scotty McClue has left the building. Oh, yes.